Hello, this is Epic Moose Studios, um, Epic M Studios. Welcome to a Blender tutorial about an upcoming feature called Sunbeams. Now, this is a, uh, it's for Cycles or the Blender internal um, engine. I think it's going to be used for Cycles. Um, it's a way to to do volumetrics um, in the compositing using compositing nodes. So instead of having to set up a volume uh, material um, in cycles materials and have it rendered and take an hour or something, not an hour, that's yeah, but you know what I mean. Um, this will cut your render down, your render time down a lot. So um, Alt R Alt G. Uh, I'm just gonna set up the camera, all right. Um, and let's make something let's make a scene that would like kind of like a church window scene or something like that so uh, where you have you, where you have kind of a light um, like so say the sun shining through it and you can see part of uh, the sun the sunlight uh, kind of bouncing off of the uh, yeah of the dust in the air. Sorry, I couldn't find words for that. Okay, uh, rotate x90. Let's scale it s8. Scale it eight times. I'm just making the window right now. So you can do this if you want also. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this feature. This is, this seems like a really cool feature. Uh, well, <laughs> I already have it. Um, yeah, but it's 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 a really cool feature. Uh, control R. Yeah, just put that there. Don't really care if it if it looks bad or not. Um, there, whatever. Okay. Uh, and now we're just gonna remove these faces. Uh, no, not vertices. Faces. Alright. So, we were making kind of like a window. Um, let's extrude that. Kind of making like a window. Window scene with uh, light rays. Alright, so you can see the window there. Um, yeah. And let's have the sky be just white. That's where it works best if the sky is just white or another color. And also, I forgot we should box this in so none of that light gets through. You can also do this just to test with a um, with a uh, max mask box mask or something, um, which is what you would do for pictures. Um, but it helps w uh, if you're doing actual geometry f for this. Um, Six extrude that uh, on the y axis and fill. So there you get a very noisy, 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 noisy scene. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's, let's render that. Um, I still need to get my GPU driver sorted out. I, un I updated Linux. And GPU, uh, which is a GTX 570. Uh, yeah, just yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's go into compositing, and let's use the Sunbeams uh, node. So, uh, it is a filter. On Sunbeams, and let's just look at our render result here. Right now you see nothing if you connect it. If you add, if you change the ray length, um, you'll be able to see where the window was and kind of where the window was and you can see it's kind of like a sun beam type thing. And now that right there is where the emitter is. Um, we're going to need to change that. And also something I have noticed, um, 
right now, which we can easily, easily fix, is all these fireflies. Um, I th think if you turn on clamp. I'm sorry, I, I'm not good at removing fireflies at all. Uh, let's just try to render that again. Yeah, no, that didn't help at all. Uh, 50 samples. I hope that's not too much. Uh, okay, it makes it more gray. That's fine. That's fine. It'll just take a little while to render. So what the Sunbeams node does, um, basically, you have a point where your emitter is, um, which would be here where it says 0 .5, 0 .5, So that's um, that's 50% of the image. So halfway in this direction and halfway in this direction, um, and wherever it sees a white part uh, or a part where it seems like it's emitting, th then the sunbeams node will um, kind of do the vol calculate the volumetrics for that. So it's like if you see um, those pictures of church windows, so you can kind of see that here. Uh, and let's actually add a um, uh, RGB curves first, just to remove those fireflies a little bit. I think I can do it with that. I think. Good. Uh, got that. All right, and then we can just brighten this. Vector? No, it's not vector. Color ramp, color ramp. Blech. Let's just search for it. This is why I like the node search. Um, yeah. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this is a good way to just kind of remove the fireflies for the effect. Um, okay, so we've got that color ramp there, and now we're going to add the sunbeams node. Alright, you can see the the emitter is in the wrong spot. We don't want it to be there. I, um, at least I don't want it to be there, because I th I'm thinking the sun would probably be for our image. It should come down in this direction, so let's have... Um, Let's have the center a little bit up, so uh, just have it at one, one. All right, so there you can kind of see that, and we can change the array length if we want to make it kind of the full thing. All right, and then you can just use a color, um, um, a mix node, um, and set that to add, and add the sunbeams to the original image. And there you have it. That's really, really, really easy volumetrics. And we can actually make this kind of yellow. Um, what comes out of there, we can make it yellow. We can change the ray length. Uh, we can, you know, make it going straight up if we want. Um, we can have it, let's see, 0.75. We can have it almost at the window, so you can change the angle, and it will look really realistic, actually. Like, see right there? That looks pretty good. Um, if we adjust the ray length, that looks good. So you can see a lot of the possibilities for this um, in rendering things. It It's very, very useful, um, and I think it'll be a great feature so that you won't have to spend time rendering volumetrics for stuff that you don't need. Um, you can use it for text if you want to do, like for example, if we uh, reload startup file. Yeah. If we add some text, um, we can have kind of the light behind the text, so let's add some text. have that in the view. This works for the internal renderer, 
and cycles render. Um, I'll just use the internal right now. I hate when the cursor drags. Um, yeah. Scale that text up. But this is a very, very useful feature. Um, and if we make it black, that'll that'll work. Or right, just set that there. Yeah. Remove the lights in the scene. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, show an example of using a mask to actually do this, which is it works. You can kind of do the kind of flashlight uh, behind some text uh, effect here. So if we just uh, have placeholders now, uh, it will be shading uh, transparent. Okay, so there we have kind of like a not really a mask, um, sort of something like that, All right. right there, and we can actually make our light shine through that. Um, and so if we go into compositing, use nodes. And let's add a um, a box mask. You can use any shape mask you want. You can draw one in the mask editor, but uh, not a box mask. Actually, let's use an ellipse mask. So filter ah matte 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 ellipse mask, and so we'll have that as an input. And we we'll, we will add a um, mix. No alpha over actually. Um, alpha over let's see our render results okay uh, <laughs> let's just add a mix Yeah, mix. And we could. Darn, I'm forgetting how to do. Okay, yeah, let's just. Um, it, it is alpha over, I believe. No. Yeah, it should be alpha over. What? Ah, because we have the mix node. We have the mix node right there. Okay. We have the mix nodes. Uh, sorry, that was the problem. The mix node was there. I didn't notice it. So we see, you can see the, we have the E and the X right here. Uh, and let's add a blur filter for a second. Just uh, blur that. Set that to 10. Uh, and we can correct. Um, actually, 0.2.2. There we go. Alright, so it's kind of like a flashlight or something there behind it. And we can add the sunbeams. Oh, well that's a filter. Filter sunbeams. We can add sunbeams. And you can see we have that effect with it like shining through the E and everything. So then if we go and add this, add this in, it'll look, it'll look pretty good. Um, let's add the original image in, and it'll be add. No other way. But yeah, anyways, you get the picture. You can, you can basically, um, yeah. It's it's really useful for things like this. You can use it for just effects like that. Um, Alright, anyways, thank you for watching, and goodbye.